morning, YouTube. This is Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters, here for LinuxMusicStudio.com. And you may notice that I am actually logged into Windows 10 right now. And uh, the reason for that is I wanted to show you guys uh, one of my favorite video editors for Linux, Kden Live, does actually run on Windows now. It's actually been available for a little while, uh, maybe a year or two. But I never actually tried it until just now. And uh, I just wanted to show you all um, that it actually does work pretty good. I've been editing uh, one of my latest videos uh, that I haven't uploaded yet, but it's the travel video from when me and Victor went to West Virginia for Thanksgiving. And uh, <clears throat> let me open up this project here so you guys can see how this is looking and basically what the differences are, uh, if any, uh, between the Windows version of Kden Live and the Linux version of Kden Live, which there really aren't any. Uh, but I did notice a couple of bugs, but nothing major so far. But I can tell you uh, what those are if once this loads up and I can show you what's going on. I don't know why it's taking so long, maybe because of the screen capture software. But um, yeah, uh, here we go. So, <clears throat> okay. You'll notice that it looks pretty much the same. Um, it looks like Kden Live does with the... Uh, now here's one of the bugs, okay, it's giving me this clip problems window, but there's actually no problems, so I just clicked OK, and then everything loads up. And the, the first time I loaded it, I did have to find some uh, clips that weren't where it thought it was, because I started this, this project in Linux. Um, but once I click OK there, it seems to be fine. So, and then another thing I noticed is if I lower that down, well now it's not doing it. Sometimes if you try to resize this area, this will snap back up uh, to where it was on its own. Um, but overall, let me pay, play back a little bit here. That's my dad's dog, Coco. So yeah, you can see, uh, let me get my camera back. Can I place this on top? I don't know how to do that on Windows. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's working really nice. And it basically looks like the Breeze Dark theme uh, for Linux. And if you go in... Oh, another one of the problems that I noticed, though, is sometimes what will happen, probably the first time you open up Kden Live, and if you go to add a new clip, and say we wanted to add a song here, just click that. Now, what was happening the first time was saying clip not avail or clip invalid and then it would say not added to project give an error window i don't really know how to make it do it again but all you have to do if that happens is basically just close kden live and then open it again now if you want to get the windows version of kden live you just go to kdenlive.org slash en slash download and then it's kind of hidden down here on the bottom under windows you can do download the beta version from the KDE servers, and then you just click there, and then it'll bring up the download. Now, the one thing about it, it's not actually a uh, install file. It's just a full. It's just a zip file with this folder, and then once you unzip the folder, it has all this stuff in it right here. So basically, you just find the Kden Live uh, executable in there, and then you just run that. And then once you run that, it'll open up. It takes a little while to load. I haven't, I haven't actually rendered anything yet, but from what I'm reading, it should be fine, and it se seems to be working just fine. Uh, I don't really see much of a uh, workflow difference between Windows and Linux, which is nice. And I know there's a lot of Windows users, and I know there's a lot of Windows users watching my channel because I, I posted a survey yesterday about that, asking you guys uh, what uh, OSs you used. And while I'm at it, I might as well see what the results of that were. Um, but, yeah, you know, I do use Windows sometimes. Um, I have Ableton Live, and I, I like it a lot. <laughs> so, like, uh, I do use it sometimes. And then I also just tried out uh, Pro Tools first, uh, which I had never tried before uh, a couple of days ago. And I also think that is very nice. Um, I know some people are critical of it, but I've always liked Pro Tools. And um, I think the free version is great. It reminds me of the old... Uh, Pro Tools free version that was available in the early 2000s, uh, late 90s, early 2000s. 
uh, which was, uh, I think, an 8 channel version of Pro Tools. Uh, Pro Tools First is actually a 16 channel uh, version of Pro Tools. So it gives you a little bit more. Um, it, it only allows you to save on the cloud, though. I know this video is supposed to be about Caden Live, so I'm just sort of getting off track here. But uh, yeah, so let's find those um, surveys, or the last survey I posted. Let me see. Okay, so let me pull it over here. All right, so this I asked what operating systems you guys are using, and most of you uh, said exclusively Linux-based OSs, 43%. But then, well, actually, it's not most of you, because I would say most of you are also on Windows, at least, and then 30% is only Windows, and then Windows and Mac is... Uh, Windows and Linux, sorry, and or Mac is 23%. Zero Mac-only users, which actually I'm quite surprised about that. And then 3% uh, uh, BSD, so that's interesting. Um, and how many people voted on this? 30 votes, so that's, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, what else? I asked about uh, YouTube channels, and then you guys like basically anything that captures your attention, <laughs> which is same with me. I mean, I watch, I subscribe to all kinds of YouTube channels, but... Um, yeah, so what I'm trying to get to here is I probably will, uh, you know, I'll keep doing other, you know, Windows as well as other tutorials, uh, not just Linux, um, even though this is called Linux Music Studio. That was one of the reasons why I was considering changing the name back to uh, Demonic Sweaters, but you guys voted on that too and uh, said that, you know, you didn't mind the Linux Music Studio name. So anyway, Caden Live for uh, Windows. And it's running in Windows 10, and that's all I've tested it in. I don't have Windows 7 or anything else. I'm just using Windows 10. And uh, it does work really well for me, uh, at least so far. I haven't rendered, but if there's a problem with rendering, I'll post another video. But I think it should be fine. And once I get this video finished, uh, that'll be up online as well. And uh, so, yeah, that is all. And thanks for watching, everybody. And please subscribe, click like, and I'll see you all soon.